Whether you're brand new to drones or not, there is a critical safety feature on your controller that you need to know. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and with lots of new entrants into the drone market at the moment, whether via their first ever drone or upgrading to the latest model, we have to focus on safety because there is a tendency not to read the manual. The implications of that is that the owner of the drone misses out on crucial safety information, which one day could just save them or somebody else from being seriously injured. There's often a mistake to think that the props and the spinning motors of a drone like this, the Mavic Air 2, won't cause any harm if they hit you. But trust me, these props are spinning at such a fast RPM with such pace and momentum that if they do contact flesh or skin, they do cut right through it. And I've seen some horrific injuries, which I won't show in this video because genuinely they'd have to be censored. For that reason, it's so important that you're aware of all of the safety capabilities that you have at your disposal when flying these drones. One of them is called CSC, and it stands for Combination Stick Command. It is shocking just how many existing and experienced drone operators don't know about this either. Now, the reason that I was prompted to make this video is because of a post to my DJI Mavic group, which is linked in the video description. The post was talking about how to get his drone to take off. He'd always been using the take off button in the app. Now, I always avoid these buttons in apps. Never use auto take off or auto landing because you're not in control of your drone when you do so. Pressing that button in your app makes your drone ascend and take off automatically and then hover at a set altitude. But immediately you're at the disposal of the drone and you aren't really prepared to take control of it if you're not flying it. I suggested to this poster to use the CSC command and he clearly didn't know what it was. Now I know that we all have a tendency not to read the manual, but this one is so important and I was really shocked that he didn't know what it was, hence why we're making this video now. So let's talk in more detail about how and when you can use CSC. I'm going to start by showing you what is CSC and I've got my Mavic 2 controller here to demonstrate but I must point out that this command is available on not just DJI drones but also other manufacturers drones such as Autel as well. They don't necessarily call it the CSC but the command I believe is exactly the same. On your controller you've got your two main gimbals. The CSC command is simple, it's that, so both sticks to the furthest inner and lower position on the other hand, you can also do the opposite, so to the outer position. Either is acceptable as the CSC command stick. So that's how you do it. You might be wondering, why would I do it? Well, the CSC command starts and stops the motors on your drone. So rather than using that annoying takeoff button in the app, when your drone is ready on the ground to take off, you press your CSC command and that starts the props of the drone spinning. When you're ready to take off, you then simply press the throttle up very gently and your drone will leave the ground and start to ascend. As soon as you let go of throttle, the drone will stop and hover wherever you let go. This means you have complete command and control of your own drone and that's very important for safety. So that's one use of the CSC command, starting the motors of your drone when you're ready to take off. The other is when you're in the air, and this one has to be used very carefully. I did a wind test with my Mavic Mini the other day. You might have seen the video, which is linked now in the top right hand corner. And at all times, I was ready to execute the CSC command whilst it was in flight. And the reason is, CSC, when used when the drone is flying, turns off the motors. Now, clearly, that means your drone will drop to the floor but that's intentional. And the reason is, if for any reason you are suffering a flyaway at low altitude, or your drone is about to hit somebody or something, by using CSC command, you can cut the props from spinning and that can cause less damage and less harm. Now, in the event of a flyaway, you should only really use CSC at lower altitude because at higher altitude, it's got much further to fall. And of course, it could end up falling at a higher pace than it would if the props were still spinning. But certainly during that test where I was flying just about 10 meters high, using CSC means that I can see exactly where the drone is gonna drop. Another scenario might be if you're flying your drone above water and the wind picks up to such a pace where even in sports mode, you can't get it back to you. 
Now, rather than seeing that drone carried off further and further away, you can use the CSC command to cut the motors from spinning and it will drop down wherever it happens to be. Instead of using CSC in that scenario, you could just use the throttle down and let the drone gradually descend whilst it's being carried by the wind. But that of course means that it's gonna end up being carried further and further away because the descent rate with the motors spinning is much, much slower than the descent rate when the motors have stopped. Now in my many years of flying drones, I have never to this day accidentally initiated CSC whilst in flight because you might think, well, what if I'm doing that maneuver just during general filming? It's highly unlikely because you would be descending and yawing at top speed. You'd also be rolling and pitching at top speed. That doesn't make for a very cinematic shot. However, DJI have in their latest software implemented some safety settings to control the safety maneuver. Have a think about the functionality that you want out of CSC. The first thing I do is disable that and I want the ability to perform a CSC when the drone is flying because if it is flying towards somebody's face or my own, I want the ability to be able to cut the props immediately. Within the DJI Fly app under Advanced Safety Settings, you'll see the option now where you have Emergency Only or Anytime. Setting it to Anytime means that whenever the drone is in flight, using the CSC Combination Command will stop the motors from spinning. This by far gives you the most control of the emergency procedure. Setting it to Emergency Only means that you can only use CSC when the DJI software deems the drone's current flight path or behavior to be an emergency. For example, if it's spinning out of control or a motor has stopped. The danger with this setting is that if the drone is heading towards somebody's face, that doesn't necessarily mean that strictly the drone is out of control from a software perspective. Therefore, in this scenario, CSC would not work. For that reason, we recommend setting it to any time. As mentioned in many, many years of droning, not once have we accidentally triggered CSC and therefore it's unlikely that you would either. Hopefully I've explained this clearly enough. CSC is a very important piece of knowledge. It's in the manual, it's well documented. You should know about it. There's really no excuse. If you're a new drone operator, please read the manual because there's a lot more in there in addition to CSC that you need to know. If you're an experienced drone operator and you didn't know about this, then you've just failed. I hope this is useful. Comment below if you've got any questions or queries about anything that I've said in this video. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're an experienced drone operator and didn't know about this. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching.